Hey everybody, it's Chloe here with Chloe's Critter Care. I just wanted to take a moment and just go over a little tutorial about phone callers. Many are wary of using it because of the way it looks. It looks kind of, you know, scary with those prongs, but really this is a wonderful tool that can be used for dogs that maybe pull or perhaps even need a little correction. But really great for those of you that have dogs pulling you down the street. It's not a safe thing that your dog pulls you that you know you could be falling down you could get you know dislocate your arm I mean there's been really bad stories out there that people that have gotten hurt especially if you're elderly or something like that the last thing you want to worry about is falling down so your dog should not be doing that that should not be allowed so for any of you that are dealing with issues like this the prong collar is going to help you don't be afraid of the way it looks you know always be uh, open to trying new things trying new ways that that could potentially really help you um, so anyway, so this is a prong collar, also known as a pinch collar. Um, this is a Herm Springer brand. It is uh, it's German made. It's very well quali uh, very good quality. Most prong collars you'll find in your local pet stores will not be good quality like the Herm Springer. Um, some of them will these br these uh, brands and stores they'll have uh, edges that are that are cut off that are flat. Whereas these, the Herm Springer, it's, it's very rounded, as you can see, very rounded. They're not sharp at all. And uh, anyways, the design of this, the prong collar is so that when you are correcting your dog to pull, it, it gives a even, an even uh, feeling around the entire neck rather than maybe a buckle collar will only, it puts pressure right here on the throat. And that could lead to some some damage uh, with your dog's trachea, um, you know, or causes them to cough or um, gag, sometimes even vomit. And so this will not do that. This is a very safe way of walking your dog. Um, and of course, the prongs are at an angle; so it's not going straight uh, into your uh, dog's neck. Anyway, so Herm Springer brand. Uh, this is a 2.25 size uh, or small. Uh, they, I think they make three sizes, um, a medium and large. The next one will be 3.0, which should be the largest that anybody really needs. Um, but this size, the smaller one, 2.25, should fit on most dogs, even even you know larger size breeds. Um, but if needed, you can always go to the 3.0. Okay, so first I'm just going to show you how to use it. This one is um, a quick release. So in case, uh, for those of you that maybe have arthritic hands or just, you know, just uh, you know, just hard. It's hard for you to open uh, the prong collar normally. What you do is you buy the quick release, and all you do is this. So you have it, right? Okay. So you get this end here. You're on the camera, okay? I'm gonna zoom out a little more, and you put it in the opposite hole here. Pull it through. Down to the dead ring, flip this around, the quick release, the, the little thing right here, and you grab that loop that you pulled through. And that's how it's done, okay? And so this would be, this This is a swivel, you would attach your leash to that, okay? The other way you do it is you can use this little flat piece here, and you just, you could just kind of grab that a little bit. And then put your fingers right here towards the tip, pinch it, and pull it out. Okay? Another way of doing it is just by pulling the links, these come apart. So you just pinch, pull out. It's the same way when you're putting it on your dog, right? Can you see that? So I'm just putting it right in those holes there, right in. Okay? Now I'm going to go ahead and show you how to put it on your dog. Okay, so now we got Skylar here. So I unhinged it. Alright, so I just unhinged it. Like that. No, Skylar, come. Sit. Sit. Good girl. So then you just put it on. Put it on and react above the, your normal, normal buckle collar. Their tags on. So you put it around their neck. Pinch it in the holes. Whichever way you choose to do it. Don't ever slide it over your dog's head. That could be dangerous. You might poke the dog's eye or something. And uh, they'll probably get pretty squirmy. So that wouldn't be very comfortable for the dog. So now it's on. See, she's fine. 
no big deal. It You want to make sure that it's not super loose, but it's not super tight either. She's kind of an in-between size, um, so if it's a little loose, then it, you know, maybe you'd like to be, but if I take off one, then it's just going to be too tight. So, so anyways, it's above, above her buckle collar. You want it as high as possible, up to the ears and below the chin, okay? And then a little trick for safety, in case for some reason you didn't put the prongs on correctly, this is a little safety thing so you don't lose your dog so the collar doesn't, you know, if it slips off, you just get a carabiner, okay? This one's kind of big, but it's all I have right now. You, just get, you can get a smaller one or, you know, whatever you have around your house. Get the buckle collar, right? The little D ring here, slip it there. The dead ring on the prong collar, get that, and attach the two. So you can see, I'll show you a little closer. So right there, the D ring and the dead ring on the prong collar. They're clipped together. Okay, it's a little safety. And then, after that, you get your leash, right? And you attach that to the swivel, okay? And there you go. And that's it. That's your little tutorial for the prom collar. So now you're ready to walk your dog. Okay, if, you, uh, if any of you have questions on, on that, please uh, uh, let me know. You can uh, question on my Facebook or Instagram even. Um, that'd probably be the best way, or email, however you want to contact me. Let me know if you have any questions about the prong collar or how to use it. Make sure um, that you size it right. When you first buy it, you might have to take a couple links out, depending on the size of your dog's neck. Or you might have to buy extra links um, to add it if you're at the next bigger. Um, I think that's it. So thanks for watching, and I'll talk to you later. Bye-bye.